All right, it's time to fix our past failures. It's time to make the soup today. We're going to be the greatest chef in all of Moss Flower. Zip line. Press A to dismount the zip line early. I don't want to do that early. Sweet. Scouting ahead, travel over 10 kilometers on foot. I had free achievements from my last time playing this, which was learning the first scent and taking a dip in the hot springs, and I can't remember what the other one was. Ooh, who's stinking up the tents? I just don't know. Oh, but it's definitely, okay, we definitely gotta meet the friar first. Hello, sir. Why am I so slow if I'm walking on two feet? Ah, uh, here's our initiate now. Glad you finally made it. Finally, indeed. The moon's full up, and we haven't even started the soup. Your job is to get tonight's supper started, and we'll be making soup. Okay. Exactly what kind of soup is up to you, but let old Rootsworth give ye a few pointers. Everybody has their loves, and everybody has their hates. Taint no way, no how to make everybody happy, but a smart chef can usually keep everybody fed. Go do your scrounging, and come back here to see how to turn cold water into a hearty broth that'll make a badger lord weep. Cool. I trust your betrothed left you the list of ingredients. Well, go on then. They won't gather themselves. Okay, Robin Hood. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> aye, aye. Uh, so we can make up different kinds of soup, but I thought we had a list of ingredients to use. Is it like, those are the base, but then you can make it into whatever soup you want. I'm certain a youngster such as yourself has better things to do than pester an old mouse and his pipe. Uh, let's talk about supper. Soup, you say? <laughs> You're rather lucky. Your betrothed had to make pies for everyone. Oh, brilliant job, that. The best mushroom pie I've had in ages. Mmm. All right, uh, what's your favorite? Oh, I do love mushrooms. Oh. But the secret to long life and... Quite excellent coat, if I say so myself. Is anything hot? Give me food that's spicy and prone to set your whiskers a quiver. Hot root, especially, is good for the humors. Uh, Regina tells me I'm a jester by temperament, but I'm a salamander by appetite. <laughs> uh, funny though, I can't stand onions. Oh, hate the things. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Most of the stuff I make involves onions. We'll see what we can do, but no promises, all right. <laughs> well, what is your advice? Certainly it's not typical for soup, but as you're just getting to know everyone, you should be aware that Tussa is allergic to nuts. All of them. Oh, frightening thought for a mouse. Luckily, it's nothing too serious. Still, that seems like the kind of information you might want to have. That I will accommodate. Allergies, I definitely will. Also, that's the first indication of an allergy in Redwall, I believe. And I am very glad that they're getting all the food descriptions from the books, yes. Natter, uh, Laban. What a story, that one. In fact, a bit unsettling, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. You see, his mother had been quite barren for longer than her fragile heart could bear. And when Mr. Rushwittles took his journey to Dark Forest, it seemed all hope was lost for his line. Until the old gal showed up to High Late and great with child. She glowed with pride, and despite her condition, she danced each and every tune as if it were the last song she'd ever hear. But the story took a dark turn, when she brought water afore the Birchleys had turned to gold, and her bonny child came far too soon. The midwife did what she could, which was precious little, and placed the pitiful, mewling thing in a pumpkin shell by the fire to keep him warm, but walked away weeping for the poor, weeping widow. Then, the next day, I was strolling by the hole and heard the widow singing and saw her dancing a jig through the window. The look on her face was a mixture of genuine joy and a fair determination. It seemed her tiny boy had survived the night, and what she could do but dance in Thanksgiving, <laughs> and in Warden. The next day it was the same, and the next, and the next. By spring, the tiny thing had tripled in size, and everybody in Leagrove started to wonder if somehow 
the widow's mad dancing was just the thing to make a dibbon thrive. A few of the women even invited her over to dance for their newborns, as if she welded some bit of the old magic. <laughs> Which, of course, was ridiculous. Uh, but still, there the boy is. The biggest mouse in Lilygrove. <laughs> Except in Rootsworth. And who can explain his unusual tale? You spin quite a yarn, Mr. Coyle. Thank you, sir. I do make the effort. Okay, that was a weird <laughs> story. That doesn't seem very... <laughs> that doesn't seem very much like something you'd hear in Redwall. What about Fraby? <laughs> don't tell me you've taken a shine to that one already, have you? I don't mean to suggest Fraby is a bad mouse. It's, it's just that he's the sort of fellow who always finds himself in the vicinity of trouble without ever falling in. Like Gonf. A Master Nutworth seems to think he's just lucky. But I know more than one of his mates has met the flat side of a wicket on account of Fraby's look. Uh -huh. As an example of just this kind of thing, do you remember Tom Lark? This is the info dump episode, Tom, apparently. Skinny Mouse, just a few seasons older than yourself. Uh, just a bit. He and his kin moved away, if I recall. Indeed they did. Moved all the way to the base of Salamandastra. On account Ooh. of something else that happened that very same autumn. Salamandastrin is Being actually a, boy, a place in the real I series. Doubt you'd remember it, it's like a volcano a where the badger lords the lived. Crop field of the rye -maid ladies. It's a mercy that ground was fallow, or it sure have been a terrible matter. When the ashes had settled, there were Tom and Fraby, huddled under a stump in the midst of it all. <laughs> Nobody ever cast a stone, mind you. But it wasn't a week before the Larchburn clan moved west, in the hope the long patrol hares might take young Tom on as a squire, or some such should teach him some better manners. But so far as I know, Fraby walked away with naught but a singed whisker. Okay. Uh, more! Tussa. Wonderful creature, Tussa. Brilliant tactical mind. It was just the past summer that we were down south on an errand for Ichabod when we were attacked this is a lot of information. by a great, bulgy toad. Fearsome thing, kitted out like, like some kind of gladiator with a net and a spear. Oh, I can't imagine where he got the stuff. But there was Tussa, attacked by surprise and cleverly drawing the creature off balance, just in time for me to break its guard and disarm the monster. If it hadn't been for her quick action, I fear we'd both be worse off. I seem to recall something rather different in her report. I imagine Miss Pawsnet, being the humble creature she is, might tell the tale differently. But don't let that fool you. She fights like a wolverine, I tell you. Okay, how about Rootsworth? The friar! We get, we get, we're working for him. Oh, what can I tell you about jolly old Rootsworth that isn't as plain as the... <laughs> He's right here. Shirt? For what? There's a lot more to that mouse than meets the eye. He has roots that go back into the dusty corners of Lily Grove history. And the truth is, nobody really knows how old he is, where he grew up, or who his mother is. His charming father, whose story was equally veiled, just showed up one day with a son who could already walk and talk with nary an explanation. Of course, that was well before my time, so. I'm only recounting the local legends. You can be sure that there's more than biscuits and gravy to roots with. Okay. Mr. Coyle, you besmirched the good mouse's name. Not at all, Captain. I only add a little flair and mystery to it. Uh, youngsters like this will need their imagination set alight to breed proper awe, which is just what that ragged old beast deserves. <laughs> but can he fight? How many more are there? Sophia. Yeah. Let me tell you something, mouse to mouse, son. There's a better chance of you playing Skittles in Marshak than you finding a better gal than Sophie. All these references. With every bit of good advice I have in my right paw, I implore you, love her well, and never, ever take the last for granted. Marshak was Who a fortress in Martin the Warrior. But I expect she'll do great things, and you'll be proud to stand at her side. Yeah, okay, I already knew about my fiancé. The first time I met the captain. Oh, Mr. Coyle, not this story. <laughs> yes, this story. The first time I saw him, there was an enormous stoat, dressed like a vulpine shaman and dripping with bangles and bells, 
sitting right on top of Captain Robin, pinning him to the turf and trying to pull his arms off. <laughs> the captain, who wasn't even a scout back then, is mourning and squeaking, and I'm certain he's about to perish. So I rush at the creature, swinging the only thing I was carrying. A huge basket of fresh raspberries. <laughs> In mid-leap, I hear Robin's back snap like a dry twig, and the berries come crashing down over the stoat's tattooed pate like so much fresh blood. <laughs> he wasn't breaking my back. He was fixing it. I'd injured myself that spring, and the good healer was helping me with some rather vexing. What pain. a stoat! That's a good I was guy. To know that. <laughs> Nevertheless, the stoat slowly stands up. Dripping red juice like a wounded king from some ancient tragedy, looks me dead in the eye and growls, I thought we'd agreed on gooseberries. <laughs> That's a good story. Okay, okay, there we go. We Who would you like to talk? Uh, Ichabod? Of course, you know old Ichabod, don't you? No. He's the kind of fellow youngsters speak about in whispers, I imagine. Is he the new schoolmaster? Don't let Ichabod's rough, outward manner fool you, though. He's actually just that ornery all the way through. <laughs> uh, of course, it wasn't always so. It never is. When he lived in Honeyshire, he was handsome and strong and happy. But the tale is that jealous and spiteful neighbors, led by the father of a spurned love, took to slander and gossip, blunting his aspirations and breaking his heart. He tried to weather the jeers, but in time he grew bitter and moved here to get a new start. And I can't say that I blame him. As such, I try my best to offer him every kindness I can at every turn. Which is how I attempt to welcome him to our village. That's your motive? To make him feel welcome? Well, he also presses the finest cider in a hundred leagues. Ah, there you go. That's why. motivated. <laughs> Since you mention it, there's always I something. There's a letter for him in the post box. Why don't you bring it to him? Okay. Uh, wow, that was that was a lot of stuff to talk about. All clear. <laughs> Very well. Maybe I'll put a timestamp in the description to let people skip past that info dump if they don't care about it. How? Hey, Robin. Let's jam. Captain, what's with all these baskets of jam set around? Oh, I thought we were gonna like it's jam in our band to stash these baskets around for the finding. And not just Lily Grove Scouts, mind you, but all the Scout Corps around Mossflower. At the end of each season, we compare our find to see who's got the most jam. And then, Rootsworth bakes the winner the best pie you've ever tasted. I need that pie! Well, last spring, Coyle found so much jam that Rootsworth had to commission a special baking pan from the metalsmiths at Salamandastron. <laughs> yes! So, if you happen to stumble upon any, be sure to grab them. We've won four seasons in a row, and I'm not about to let my scouts fall behind. Yes, we must get that pie. It's soup tonight, is it? And I deduce you hope to discern something useful about my palate. Trying to curry favor. <laughs> curry, yes. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, if done in good spirit. I myself am quite fond of boiled potatoes. Yeah. They are hard to come by this time of year. I'll I'll see what I can do. Any more? Looking for more? Very well. Just one more tidbit and then off with you. I too must prepare. What I said about potatoes, as fate would have it, Rootsworth can't stand the things. What? Finds them smackish. Whatever that means. Well, Rootsworth I'll isn't cooking the soup. Wisely initiate. After all, Rootsworth has been a great friend for many years. And he's a third generation chef for the Lily Grove Scouts. Yeah, but also he's not cooking dinner tonight. And also, potatoes are amazing. So, why are we so slow? Give me that jam. I see the sweet aroma of jam caught your nose. Well, duh. <laughs> if you happen to spot any more of those little wicker baskets of jam around, be sure to grab it. We've got a bit of a contest going on with the other scout calls. Yes. So jam is the collectibles of the game. Collect four jam. We did. And it's going to be great. Alright. Oh, that, there's a lot of sense happening right now. Found a new recipe for hot root soup. Cool, cool. I thought that we got the recipe from our fiancé, though. Uh, what, what's going on here? Found new mail. Away on business. Oh, are we just, are we just stealing mail from people? Found new mail. New auntie. 
Found new mail. Secret date. Oh, we are literally just stealing everybody's mail. Found new mail from Shrubby. Found new mail. Changing of the guards. How much, how much mail is that? Thanks be to Redwall. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Ichabod's invite. We literally just took everybody's mail and flyers. Complete. Collect the mail. Optional. No, stealing people's mail is definitely not optional. Ooh, new recipe for roasted carrot and mushroom soup. Oh, can we play poker? I didn't know they had playing cards in the Redwall universe. Oh, if we, we better be able to play. Ooh, is this jam? No, those are mugs. I'm on top of things. Don't you worry. Uh, ooh, what recipe is this? Onion potato soup. I'm free! So I guess this is where everyone's gonna be eating. Cool. What's in here? Don't mind me, Rootsworth. I'm just uh, busting into your pri- Ooh, is this the Bible? I love that. I love that book. No, I guess not. Oh, can we talk to Rootsworth and get an idea of what he likes? Ooh, cooking tips. The first secret to all good victuals is a proper application of salt. Yes. You learn to get that right and you be halfway to a master chief in one step. Master Chief or Master Did Chef? Master Chief. Did I? No, no, Master <laughs> Chef. Chef. This is not Halo. Uh, second secret? The second secret is the right and proper application of heat. Simple as that. If you can learn the narrow way between a sear and a saute, you can turn carrots into gold, tomatoes into sunbeams, and gruel into glory. So basically, know how to cook. Third secret. You're quite a little starling tonight, aren't you? My third and final secret is this. Don't get a jabber in when there's work to be done. That cauldron still looks mighty cold to my eye. But come back later. I could speak about such things until dawn with nary a pose. But none of this batch of scouts takes the slightest interest. So a kindly ear is most welcome. Later. Okay, okay. What's your favorite food? Oh, no, you. A chef's job is to feed his crew and keep them full. I'll get his own savor in the way. You just make the meal as you can, and all Rootsworth will be keeping a weather eye on everything else. Okay, so he doesn't really care. He's like, I don't, don't, don't go out of your way to please me. Just feed everybody. Everyone's impatient. It's really late at night. I'd like to talk about Laban. I've watched Laban grow from a tiny bundle of fur into that mountain he is now. He was birthed a fair bit too early by Lady Columbine's reckoning, and shaking her head, claimed he'd not likely survive the afternoon. But he did. And the next one. And the next. He's she destined for greatness. Morning, that every day her little dibbon still drew breath was another day she'd dance a jig, so happy she was to have her one and only child alive and thriving. And it weren't no exaggeration. Widow Rushwittles danced every morning until her paws wore out. I love how he's like, just get cooking, and then he's like, let me tell you this long story about Laban's uh, birth. <laughs> oh, yes, freebie. Quite the project, that one. What do you mean? On second thought, it's best I don't say anything. Ever. He's, he's not He's not uh, into gossip. I appreciate that. How about For Tussa? The vinegar she's given to others, she's never given me aught but honey. Sweet little. Thing if you give her the chance to be herself. Seems okay. to old Rootsworth that she's got a chip on her shoulder. Always a Dorito? trying to prove her worth to the other scouts. Mm. Me? Well, I suppose there just ain't nothing to prove. A sweet thing, with more heart than most beasts ever come to know. So she's a Sundere is what so I'm getting at. To me now. Yeah. <laughs> that young mouse is precious to me. And if you uh -oh. give her the slightest grumble, I'll know. All right, Rootsworth, all right. How about, how about you? Were you a scout when you were, um... Younger? Thinner? <laughs> no need to be coy about it, I'm not. But to answer a perfectly reasonable question, no. The rush stalk mice have been cooks for the scout corps for generations, and I followed proudly in my family's way. Cool. I was still a squeaking dibbon the first day I stood beside my father at the fire, wielding the knife and paring potatoes, and I wouldn't have it different for all the saffron in Southsward. So if you were never a scout, then you never trained in things like wall scrambling or hazardous traversal techniques. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not one. <laughs> he way. cooks food and he's good at it. <sighs> Please forgive me, sir, but 
I'll have to ask. How do you get up here? Oh, is that the bush you've been beating around? Well, it's easy now. I just throw my great big bag of kit over my right shoulder, see? Yes. And then I just put my left finger alongside my snout, you see? Yes. Yes. Then I give a slight little nod of the head, you see? He's Santa Claus! Up I go. He can fly. Well, that's how you get to camp. You fly? Well, when you say not like that, it sounds silly. <laughs> all right, all right. He doesn't want to talk about it. Tell me about Coil. That's where I draw the line. At gossiping about my superiors. If you want to know about Mr. Coil Twiddlebin, then old Rootsworth be claiming you ask him mouse to mouse. That's fair. And you can be sure he'll tell you. More than you probably care to know. Yeah, that's what most of this video has been. You'll not catch me saying anything but praise about Captain Robin. He literally is just Robin Hood. He even has the hat. He's a proper hero, that one. But that's not my story to tell. I can say this about the mouse. My family has served under a baker's dozen of consecutive captains, and each one did his honor in their own way. But it was Captain Robin who first made it so we shared in the civic graces due to scouts proper. He went so far as to get our right written into Lily Grove bylaws, and that included a patch of land to call our own. East side of Sextant's Hill it is, and never a captain looked after us like that afore. Like I said, he's a special one, that Captain Robin, and you do well to learn his ways. Okay. Never mind. It's time to actually, you know, get to the gameplay. I'm not I'm not even gonna read the letters I just stole, because that's just gonna add even more dialogue. Alright, who are you? Oh, I think I think this is Tasha. Have you not any to do? Oh, I love her accent. Could you <laughs> need help? Some help? No. Why do you think I need help? I can do this job just as well as any beast here. I don't see you offering to help any of them. Uh -oh. No, I didn't. She is a Sundere. Right. Of course not. And I'm sorry for nipping. She's probably just hungry. Oh, a sharp tongue. You? <laughs> Never. Oh, honestly, I doubt much of anything could dampen my mood tonight. Of course. This isn't just initiation for you. It's the start of your new life, isn't it? I'd almost forgotten that. Sophia is a wonderful mouse, Liam. I mean, initiate. And a talented scout. You be sure to tell her I said as much, won't you? Of course I will. Love her Scottish the accent. moment I've caught her eye, I need a quick compliment to ease the strain. You know she speaks very fondly of you. She says you were a great ally in her own initiation. That I was. And as it should be. Two of us need to stick together, you know. Girl power and all that. How about supper? What do you want for supper? We've got cooking duty tonight. What's the plan? Soup? Twist my whiskers! For my initiation, I had to make stuffed toadstools. You see now what I feel put upon. <laughs> you are making soup. I have a request. I do ever so long for the taste of fish. Roasted tomatoes, grilled squash, cold meadow cream. I mean, they're all wondrous to be sure. But I long for something more hearty. Something that, that carries all those other things. Like a mum carries a wee dibbon. I see. That's a lot of stuff. What, was that too much? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I've just never heard someone compare their food to a baby that's all we're not gonna be able to make everyone happy Aren't we it was too much our little secret sure i'm not tall i'm not asking her about the other people maybe in the next video new letter oh we literally just stole this letter for coil we broke into his tent and just stole it we're like guess what coil i found your mail he's like i already had it idiot <laughs> oh can i learn people's scent Okay, no, I guess not. Ooh, yep, let's just steal everybody's mail. Found a recipe, Southsward Shrimp Stew. Do we even have access to shrimp here? Use your way glass, 128SE07. Okay. Um... Interesting. 
So can I use the way glass anywhere I want or only in those designated way glass spots? Probably the latter. Or are we going up to the watchtower that our fiancé said? Oh, don't go up there. There's nothing to see up there. Oh, there is something to see up here. New... Oh, found new lore. Letter to Tussa. Yes, we gotta get all the lore. But more importantly, we gotta get uh, ingredients for the soup. The soup is on tonight. Okay. Uh, 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 no, I got this. I got this. Don't you worry. Oh, at the outhouse. Nobody on Redwall poops. This is ridiculous. Do, 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 do. Oh, more jam. Uh, can we get the scent for this? Scent learned, Blackberry. <laughs> Collected four jam. So do they make their own jam, hide it around, and are like, you gotta find it. Ooh! New riddle, the mysterious riddle number one. Somebody just is like using the bathroom and they're like, you know, since I'm in here doing my business anyways, I might as well make up a riddle for people to uh, answer. This is, uh, I guess that's an interesting way of doing it. <laughs> we gotta maximize our time in the loo. Uh, so can I learn other people's scents? Okay, so that's the way glass, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, I saw something for a second there. Okay. I should probably also learn the sense of the NPCs, shouldn't I? So, like, if I go up to Tussa. Have you not any work to do? I was trying to learn your scent. Actually, that sounds really creepy. It's a mouse fan, alright? You understand. No, I don't! Alright, alright. Sorry, Tussa. Okay, that goes back to the soup area. We don't need that. We don't need that. I like how the jam... It's kind of weird that jam is the collectible, but I can dig it, honestly. You gotta have something to encourage exploration. Oh, hey! Hey! How are you two doing? Good evening, Liam. It's Laban. If you're making soup, I hope you had a little rosemary for me. I just love rosemary. That's an interesting accent you got there. All right, rosemary. Freebie always says you have a nose to rival any mole. Any tips for my own sniffer? Freebie is wrong about my nose. Moles have the best sense of smell by an easy league. I guess he is prone to exaggeration. Still, you're a weathered scout. Notice how scent moves with the wind. Over and around obstacles like stones and walls. Scent is never a straight line to its source. Wind and the world change its path. Things like flags and smoke are dead giveaways that the wind is active. If you really I already learned that in the tutorial. All of your senses, there's a lot you can learn. You can sense much more, sense farther, and with more clarity. It's almost as if you can see right through the walls. If you find yourself in a tight spot, always use your nose. And who knows what you'll learn. Who knows? <laughs> Alright. I'm not asking everybody about everybody Best else I not yet. Distract you. Busy night and all. Yes, thank you, Laban. I appreciate it. I see what you're looking at. And since it's a special night for you, I'll forgive the offense. I didn't do okay, anything! Pardon me. No, you don't. You don't get to play dumb. But it is alright. This once. I've been shot my whole life, but I'm quite accustomed to the secret looks, the hidden snickers. Oh, I've endured them all. But okay, I won't dude, accept you're overreacting. Kind of treatment from another scout. Hmm. We respect one another around here. I didn't do anything! I'm scout code, so I expect you to abide. Now, take your pouty glare and make another approach. <laughs> wow, Liam, don't look happy. Yeah, it looks like Fraby's a little short-tempered. Uh, uh, uh. You know, let's not let's not push his buttons. Let's not push his buttons. Uh, okay. The Tell me about stealth. Stealth is easy enough. Don't be seen. Yeah, but thanks. Don't react instantly. <laughs> Keep a weather eye on your enemies, and you'll get a sense of their awareness of you. The closer you are, the faster they react. But you'll always have a moment or two to recover stealth, in case you're caught by surprise. 
That's not how that works in real life. Oh, that's the second rule. The second rule of stealth is like the first. Don't be heard. When you're sneaking, you're almost silent. When you're on a scurry, you can be heard a long way off. And of course, the ground you tread upon makes a mighty difference as well. Silence and slowness are kissing cousins. Like being glimpsed out of the corner of their little beady eyes, a single noise won't alert a rat immediately. You'll have a precious moment to recover if you stay perfectly still and let the moment pass. If you make a mistake, freeze and watch your enemy closely in the hopes they go back to ignoring you. Okay. So know that when a rat hears a suspicious noise, it'll start moving towards its source. So, a wee thing, like ourselves, can use sound and decoys to our advantage. It'll get you thinking it will. Imagine the possibilities. <laughs> third rule. The third rule of stealth is the hardest to control. Don't get scented. But Laban has his own lesson on noses and nostrums, so I won't bother you with such things here. Just be sure to be aware of your own scent at all times in the wild. Yeah, no problem. Fourth rule? If there was a fourth rule of stealth, which there isn't, it would be to work your environment. Use what's available. Be clever and alert. Be like me. <laughs> and while fighting a vermin toe-to-toe -to -toe isn't always possible, using your wits to stay safe is always a good choice. Use cover to your benefit at every possible turn. You can see out. But they can't see in. Oh, it's fantastic for spying. But uh, it's also often uh, quite noisy. So stay cautious and slow. Okay. Uh, tell me about supper. Laban likes rosemary and just about anything. Even just a nibble on a stem when he's walking about. Uh, come to think of it, there used to be a healthy bush of the stuff near the hot spring. But he can't stand cabbage. Don't even think about that fermented stuff. The big mouse will practically run screaming at even a whiff of it. And you? Soup is fine. I always like something warm on a cold night like tonight. <laughs> but what I really love is a nice bloomy cheese. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do about that. Thanks. What's your face? Oh, boy. Oh, yes. We can push this towards the ladder. Aha! I am smart! I'm getting up to the treehouse. I hope there's something up there. I hope there's jam. I love me some jam. Or maybe I can steal more people's mail. That's a close second. Uh, aha! These treehouses are quite impressive. Do, 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 do. Zip line! Yeah. Good job, Liam. Uh -huh. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, onions. Uh, so, am I to interpret that we just picked up an onion there? Uh, where's our actual inventory? Where's our inventory? Gather corn, onion, and potatoes from the obstacle course. Uh, this is de Those are definitely... Unless that's garlic. I guess that could be garlic. Okay. Green, dark green, light green, and blue. Yeah, that definitely looks like onions. But why didn't I pick any up? Okay, so... Ah, good. I'm like, is there a way to get off this without just jumping off with reckless abandon? There is! Zip line away! Lights it away! If there's one thing I would say, I wish you could move a little faster. Okay. So there are two zip lines leading here, but nothing else. Cool. Is there like a ladder I can climb down? Or is it just like, no, just jump. Just jump, you wuss. Oh, aha! Yeah, there we go. Use that trusty slingshot. 
I mean, I don't think you need to walk this slowly, but all right, we'll do it. Ah, oh, potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a soup. Oh, yes. Well, see, we do have potatoes. Sorry, Rootsworth, we're definitely using the potatoes. All right. Zoom, do, 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 Good job, Liam. Ah, nailed it. Oh, hey, it's a mechanical rat. Let's say hi. That didn't do anything. Man, what's the point of target practice if we can't even kill the guy? I just don't know. Okay, so don't go in the water. That'll freeze you. Oh ho! This looks promising. Those are berries. We can't pick up the berries? But why? We can't shoot the berries either. Okay, well maybe I'm not as stealthy or as good of a cook as everybody else, but I am unparalleled with my slingshots attacks. Uh, there you are, Liam. Good boy. Okie dokie. Aha. Here we are. I really like the exploration of the camp. This is fun. I like all the tree houses. There's also a huge amount of dialogue. Too much to do all in one video. Geronimo! Ah, oh, nice job, Liam. You totally did it. This has got to lead to that final ingredient, right? There's a barrel here. Mama corn, baby corn. Huh. But where's popcorn? Oh. <laughs> 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 From the obstacle course. Where to now? Okay, we did actually get the ingredients. We got the corn, the onion, and potatoes. Those so those are three of my favorite vegetables. If it's a key ingredient in the recipe, oh, that w I was not expecting that to happen. I thought I would just stop automat. Okay. Well, we, we already climbed up, so there's no need to go there. <gasps> Bye! Oh! <laughs> I'm okay. I, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Don't you worry. Don't even worry about it. Uh, what's our next objective? Okay, so we... Okay. We need freebie specialty cheese. We need free beets from the garden. And we gotta gather ingredients from roots worth... Oh, that's part of it. Okay. We've already completed a bunch of the subtasks, so I guess we'll continue looking for the soup ingredients next time.